So as of September 17th, update on the all granite garden growings. So I'm up in the front, uh, well, backyard up in the front flower bed. So I still have got the beefsteak tomatoes, which are still growing. Uh, this vine I thought was supposed to be cucumber, which probably is, just isn't seen to be growing anything. Because it's underneath this huge cedar. And this cedar just sucks water up, so that could be another. The soil is usually always dry, but I've just watered it this morning, early this morning. And we all have, let's see, piles of potatoes here. Oh, let's do the flies. Oh, looks like I got a couple of potato seeds. So. So that's doing pretty green still. Doing pretty good. I've actually seen, yeah, you can see them. There's some potatoes right there. Kind of popping up. I gotta bury them. And then we're gonna come to the back over here. So, got the, uh, Garlics are doing pretty good, still growing. And the other beefsteak tomatoes, which is still producing tomatoes. And the cilantro, as you see, is fully into seed. And I've picked already a lot of seed. I'll be probably pulling the rest of this plant and maybe giving away some of the seed. And uh, I pulled the cantaloupe. The cantaloupe is now done on this section. The snails got into that one and just just had a little party. So that one went to waste, but I did get two other cantaloupes off of there just recently, and they're basically in the house. And I'll go over here to the garden. How does one's garden grow? Alright, so I've been still picking strawberries off. Oh, there's another one getting red. Uh, watermelon uh, still seems to be there, but it's not seem to be growing much. And the uh, peppers. I don't think this one's even going to get any peppers. It looks like the uh, yeah, they're just way too small. I might just pull that one. Or maybe I'll leave it and see. I'll be surprised if I get anything off it. So we still got that celery stock. Plus these two, which were not in cans at all. Plus this one over here still. And it's getting a little bigger. Oh, well, I don't know what this is all about, but I, oh, yeah, I chopped the uh, celery out, so I've got some sucklings growing off the root. Oh, there's a pepper on this one. I didn't think it would actually get big enough. And that other one from the other day, last clip, it's getting bigger. Okay, some more here. Some more up here. And uh oh, that's what I wanted to show. So I got two more melons growing. That's the right there, cricket. Or grass out there actually. So I got some more musk melon. One here. One more there. So I think that's about it for that. There should be just two of them. Yep, so there's still only two. So update on that. I've got two of those. Oh, there's another one of the uh, heritage pumpkin squash. And there's probably, oh, there's another one. And there's probably more in there somewhere. So there's a uh, There. 
Producing uh, quite a few squash still. Uh, rhubarb. These are just massive. Got it out. Any more? Don't see any more at this point. Plants starting to do good. And I don't need on the watermelon because they were, I thought I only had one left. There's one that I knew about. There's the other one. I think there was one more here. Where the heck is it? There it is. Yeah, so I got three watermelons still growing on the line. On the line. All right, well, that's the update. September 17th for the all organic gardening. Yeah, peppers, just less. Didn't show those. He's got a couple in there and here and there. Alright, that's it.